Hey, so if you will indulge me, please, today with uh, two little videos, because I had, um, I spend a lot of time in contemplation, and uh, it's during this time that I kind of get my downloads, so the visual interpretation of the messages that are coming through for the Zeitgeist, the collective, um, so on acceptance, which was the Lapida Light card today, and kind of a uh, focus, um, and it ties into um, the four agreements, which I still need to do the reading from for the power of the word, which I will get round to. Easy, easy tiger. Um, everything in good time. Um, so on acceptance, in that book, they talk about uh, being the victim and the judge. So I kind of had some insight into that. And it's like, um, in acceptance, we can be both, <clears throat> excuse me, the judge and the victim. And um, as the judge, um, what happens is we spend so much time um, looking for the bad in ourselves um, and uh, perhaps in others as a projection. And uh, what happens in that is that um, we start to um, not really like ourselves. We'll pick on our bad habits and the things we want to change and the things we're uh, not doing that we should be doing, that we want to be doing. And um, we uh, have all these ideas about uh, the dreams and visions and unfulfilled uh, ambitions and such like, and the lack of. Um, so we criticize ourselves as the judge for uh, all those things that we cannot accept about ourselves, our lives, how we live it, and certainly the same in others. So um, what happens is as the judge, we... Um, tend to neglect, ignore, devalue, uh, there's a lack of appreciation, for example. Um, so those are, again, relate, um, with that lack of appreciation, I'm being told, attitude of gratitude, attitude of gratitude, attitude of gratitude. And uh, that's so funny because one thing is um, I am uh, watch my videos before I post them just to uh, make sure that uh, they're not disastrous. They're they're real, so we have a lot of leeway, um, an artistic license for that. But I just make sure that I'm. Uh, I like to also hear what I say because often when I'm uh, intuiting, I'm being a channel, so I'm not observing. I'm being. So I watch my videos in order to be present and pay attention to the message myself. Because like you, I'm also on this journey and learning as we go, and also by. Uh, listening to the videos and hearing the message, it hammers it home. So again, um, with uh, um, all these matters of being the judge and and making a judgment and then labeling ourselves accordingly and often very negative labels. So you can start to see that's a very negative feedback system. And then what happens is in judging ourselves and others, we uh, then become the victim because through that neglect, the, um, being ignored, so I guess these days they call it ghosting and bread coming out are all the terms that are used, narcissist and what have you, it doesn't matter, they're all just labels. Um, and they're simply a language to understand an energy because that's really what words are. They're the vibrational expression of sound to convey an energy uh, in tone, in... Um, uh, volume sorry uh, tone down the volume girl um anyway so as the victim um we then uh, experience uh, abandonment and rejection so it taps into those core childhood traumas that i keep repeating because essentially that is at the heart of everything and um so we think that other people are rejecting and or abandoning us but really Yes, it happened, and we created a conditioning and a survival skill technique system to deal with it, and we carried that through our lives. And this is kind of the, the seed of potentiality that I'm introducing right now in this time, in this place, space, is that we can begin again. We are new. We are the seed. And uh, we get to decide what the forest looks like or what the oasis looks like. Um, or the jungle or whatever you get to create that and now is the time so that's why this is coming into our frame of reference now so that we have the guidance to help us ascend um, so 
uh, when we feel abandonment and or rejection, this leads us to have an experience, um, a challenge or a lesson. We can either decide whether it's good or bad, but I'm going to tell you that it's always good because it's always to push you uh, onto the correct path. It doesn't always feel like it, but the other um, aspect of being challenged and overcoming obstacles is that you have to dig deep and you learn about your own boundaries and your own limitations and what you are capable of and again you start to learn who you are and what your uh, seed of pure potentiality is so talking about the seed um, one of the next uh, things let's level it up now because we've been talking about seed 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 and this whole week has been focused on um Pure, the law of pure potentiality as per our spiritual laws of successful living. Um, so the next aspect is once, and you, if you look at the blog, you'll see the picture actually shows a seed and how it forms a root and actually germinates. So that's the next step is the germination. Once you know who you are, what you are, and you have clarity of intent, uh, I'll get to that. Um, so you will then um, get to grow and through that you are germinating and the what you need to understand perhaps about that is that um, you get to choose what seed you are as pure potentiality you get to decide and I, I love playing with words so it was like D S I D E so it's like picking sides who pick what you want get focused um, what kind of tree do you want to be ultimately? You know, um, can you see it? What do you want to grow into? Um, how does it look? Does it serve a purpose? Um, I explained once in a distance healing session to someone. I had the, uh, her distance healing was about she's a very naturey person, and the imagery that came to mind was we were guided through her growing as a tree from the root upwards, and uh, she felt perhaps a little undervalued and underappreciated and what you need to understand is she was the great mighty oak which she confirmed afterwards so we were having the same imagery without having at any point communicated that that was the tree that uh, was in both our minds and what I was able to see about her tree from the outside that she wasn't as the tree is that she in her and she has done amazing works um, for nature and people are an incredibly beautiful human being and um, she didn't understand that um, she was actually a home to uh, nests of birds and monkeys and uh, there was an owl living in the tree and squirrels and there were bugs making you know under the uh, rough trunk bugs making home and a beehive and around the roots there were flow uh, flowers and uh, mushrooms, you know, it was such a, a nurturing oak, and she uh, needed to appreciate that even um, though she didn't experience the feeling of appreciation or value, it she was in her doing already being that, and she needed to recognize that for herself. And that's, I think, the message to everybody really you need to start um, not being the judge or the victim and start really focusing on. Um, your pure potentiality you know as that seed to germinate you also just get to choose where you want to plant yourself like what you're going to use to or who you're going to choose and use and what to support and promote your growth um, how will you gain nourishment from your surroundings your choices people places spaces um, when uh, will you germinate well that's what we are preparing for now over these seven weeks and I also had insight today and in how, what the next phase of this is. And it, I just blown away about the synchronicities again, because um, quickly before 10 minutes, because um, uh, I'm been, now we're focusing on spirit and the next thing will be on the mind and the final will be in the body, which is when I'll be ready to introduce what I've been doing in my course to you. So how exciting. Um, and then um, it was like, um, how are we going to do this? So really, essentially, it's in the being, which is through clarity of intent, expression of the self um, through self-discovery um, and knowing what your what matters. So your dreams and your desires. And that's all I have time for. Thank you.